Gabby here and one thing that I've been really wanting to do is a proper decluttering experience. I enjoy watching people go through their closets, their makeup, their skincare, etc, etc to see what other people get rid of, what they don't recommend, what they don't use, etc, etc. So then I can implement those similar habits into my own life. I'm really bad at getting rid of things that I own. And so I'm hoping in 2023 to hopefully, besides this decluttering, to another decluttering, because I know myself, I acquire things and then I don't get rid of them. But before we get into the clothing and makeup decluttering to kick off the new year, make sure you leave a like and subscribe because I post new videos every single week. And with that, let's go to past Gabby who started with decluttering her wardrobe. I was very proud of myself. Good job, Gabby. All right, we're getting started with the dresser, which I will argue is probably not as bad as the closet, but just as bad as the closet. Actually, the lighting is not that bad. We can deal with this. This is acceptable lighting. So, we're not going through the first top two drawers because those are not YouTube appropriate. So we're gonna start with bottom drawer. And by bottom drawer, I meant middle drawer. I'm really tired. I'm bad at keeping my drawers organized. <laughs> it's like my worst, like, I will fold everything and keep it organized for like a week and then it doesn't last. You can see we have a lot happening here. I've had this for forever, it's staying. Because here's the thing, I have like work appropriate clothes, I have my cute clothes that I like to wear, and then I have like clothes I've been saving, which is my biggest downfall, is that I will save articles of clothing and then not wear them. This is, actually wait, I should organize my tops, not by what I like and what I don't, okay. So like for example, this top, it doesn't look work appropriate probably to most people, my office is pretty chill, but this with like dress pants is considered okay. So, work appropriate clothes. Um, I often wear these to work with like dresses under them or I wear them as tops like casually so I would put this in work appropriate. This is just a top I wear a lot. I'm not putting it in with work wear because to me it's not really work wear. This when not scrunched up is very work wear appropriate. I'm gonna put this with every day. Let's just grab my 50,000 tank tops that are all the Yes Style tank top in different colors. I love these tank tops. They're very worth it. Some of them do still have the tags on them because I've not worn them all yet for the first time. But I like these a lot. And honestly, I'm going to probably put them in my bottom drawer where I keep like pajamas, loungewear, workout wear. So I'm going to move those actually. This can be work wear. It's just... I've had this for forever. I love like a long sleeved basic like rib knit. So keeping that. This one I love because every time I wear it, I get a ton of questions from people about it. It's inside out right now. So ignore that. But it's a turtleneck where half of it is a white turtleneck and then half of it is this like mauve purpley color. Um, every time I wear this, people think that I like bought two turtlenecks and like stitched them together. Nope, it came like this. I love it. It's great work wear. Another long sleeve knit. Love. We're keeping. All right, here's the first thing where I'm like, this I'm probably going to sell. Because, so it's an Ankh Rouge like sailor collar knit. I love the color. I've worn it once. In the like year that I've owned this, I've worn it once and I cannot figure out for the life of me how to style it. I don't know what to wear it with. I love it, but I just, I've never worn it because I can't figure out how you style this. So I'm gonna put it in the to sell pile. Then I have a lot of long sleeve knits. So I have this striped one, but I also have a striped turtleneck and I like the turtleneck slightly better, I think. Because also it's the turtleneck with um the little heart, which I really like. 
Part of me wants to keep this and sell this just because I feel like if I wanted a striped black and white, I would gravitate more towards this one. So I'm gonna put this in the to sell pile because it is really nice. Like it's a very nice knit, but I don't gravitate towards it. And then in here, I have two Ankh Rouge tops that I really like because they are black and cream and they go with everything. So I'm keeping these. I'm not even gonna put them on the floor. And then, so here's the thing. I bought, I thrifted this Liz Lisa um, tank top. Sorry, I could not remember the word. And it's like this like thick fuzzy material. It's super pretty. I cannot figure out how to style this either because no one is wearing a warm tank top in winter. So what do you wear this with? Like someone tell me how to style this. I want to keep it, but if I can't come up with a way to style it, then I'm probably going to sell it. Welcome. We've done the middle drawer. Now we have the bottom drawer, which surprisingly isn't as bad as it normally is. This bottom drawer I mainly keep for um, clothes that has multiple purposes, which means pajamas that I then can use as loungewear that I also can use as gym clothes. They all just kind of go in the same spot for me. Okay, I have a low battery. Let me change the battery. Most of what's here I think I'm going to keep because it's a lot of just comfy clothes that I kind of need to have or just like... Okay, wait, like, let me move this. This... I've been wanting to style this Miu shirt that I bought at um, Anime New York City. I've been wanting to style this shirt. I'm putting it up here so I finally style it into a cute outfit. And then I have... Y'all have seen this shirt. It's inside out right now, but I've worn it before. It's from the same artist as the Miu shirt, the Shinobu and Canal shirt. That's staying. Oh, God. Honestly, I think most of the things here are staying. It's more just organizing them better is my problem. So I think I'm not going to really show you this drawer unless there's something I decide I'm going to get rid of. Now we enter the hell hole that is my closet. Um, I'm not going to walk you into my closet because I will likely trip over myself. But I will start taking things out and we're going to examine them because I have basically the way my closet is set up. I don't think you'll be able to see it. I have like shelves on the side and then I have poles that I can hang things on. So I think we'll start with the shelf stuff and then organize that and then go through the closet itself. All right, we're on to the first drawer of my, not drawer, the first shelf of my closet, which is mostly like pants. And honestly, it becomes very quickly the catch-all of things I try on and decide, oh, I'm not gonna wear it. Instead of putting it back on the hanger, I will just throw it into my closet. So let's start with pants. Um, I had a Tide Pod incident, so I'm gonna have to rewash these pants. <laughs> I had a Tide Pod explode in my laundry and not work correctly, so I'm gonna have to rewash these pants, which is kind of a shame. These are like the only workwear pants that I've bought. Um, they're just like plain black pants. They're from Talbots, and they're very comfortable, and I'm keeping them, but I do have to wash them again because a Tide Pod exploded. And you're about to see what I mean when I say catch-all. Like, here's a dress. This is a workwear dress. This I'm gonna go hang up. This I've been obsessed with since I bought it, this dress. Like, it looks so boring, but I promise you, it is so cute. It's like a big t-shirt, not t-shirt, like a big button-up shirt, and then it has like ties at the waist. It's super cute on. I need to hang this up in my closet. This is staying. I swear hanging, thing, hanging things in my closet is a workout in its own. Like. Here's a skirt. This should go on a skirt hanger. I'm gonna put it in a pile of things that need to go on hangers. Um, my other pair of work pants that I love, 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 love these. They're so comfy. Love these pants. Um, they're staying. Here's another pair of jeans that I thrifted. These are J. Crew. And the reason I like them is because, so they're called cropped jeans. On me, they are just normal length jeans that I don't have to hem. So that is why I like them. So they will be staying. They're super comfy. It's like taken me forever, but like there's moments where I accept that I want to wear jeans and I should have jeans to wear. I know it's dark, but look how nice that looks already. 
that looks so good compared to what it was. I could not even show you what it was. It was embarrassing. Also, yeah, this is where I mostly keep all my other shoes. A lot of cosplay shoes, so please ignore the amount of shoes that I own. And then the other thing, I'm not gonna go through it because I don't need to, but these like gray bins I recently got for my closet and they have winter hats and scarves, uh, tights, and um, belts and like other little accessories like that, leg warmers, I kind of like split up between these two over here. So that is what I got to really organize my closet and has helped so much. Now I would say in like October this past year was when I did like a deep purge of my closet and listed most of the things that are currently on my Mercari. I did that in like October. So um, since then, I've realized I keep a lot of things that I still don't like. Um, so we're gonna go through this today. I swear I have seen everywhere. I got it for myself. I don't like it. Like, I like the design. I think it's super cute. I cannot style it in a way that I don't hate. And so rather than buying more clothes to make me like this piece, I'm just going to sell it because I know someone will love this. This skirt is gonna go on a hanger. Yeah, this needs to be hung up. And then same with, I was gonna, t I was tempted to wear this sweater today because my friend just gave it to me. My friend was like, please take it. I don't wear it. And I was like, bet, I'll wear it. It's super soft. I just need to put it back on a hanger. Okay, so let me put those things on a hanger and then we will start the closet process. Before we put skirts on hangers, I think we should just go through my skirts that are on hangers because that makes sense to me here is um how do i explain these these are hangers with like multiple clips so i have lots of skirts on them so let's go through the skirts red lazy oaf button down skirt that i have not worn but i want to keep it because i have the sweater that goes with it and so let's hang another skirt on here because we have an empty spot so let's put this one on Also, if you want, I can link like the different organization things I use for my closet. And also I can try to link what my dresser from Ikea is in the description. If that helps y'all, I will do that. So if I don't, if I haven't done that, remind me and I will do that. But let's put this hanger back. Basically like an athletic skirt. It's like super stretchy and it has shorts with pockets built in. Um, I got this to have for like dance rehearsals because I like wearing skirts better than like shorts or sweatpants most of the time. So I got this for dance rehearsals. So I'm going to take this off and put it with my workout clothes. I'm going to put a different skirt on the hanger. I have this Finch skirt that I thrifted that honestly I think I'm going to sell because the thing is it is so not long. Like that sounds bad. Like, I really like it. I think it's really pretty. It's just like, on me, it is so long. And I don't like knee length or longer skirts really, unless it's like a maxi skirt. So like, to me, this I think I'm going to sell. This is the last of the hangers of skirts. I have blue, which I wear to work a lot pink that I've had. This thing is so oh. I feel like I should just get rid of it. Like it's not like it's bad, but like if I show you up close, you can tell that it's like pilling from just how much I've worn it. I would feel bad selling it. So I might donate it, but I also feel bad doing that. I don't know what to do with it. Let me know what you think I should do in the comments cuz like I can still wear it. I would feel bad selling it though. Uh, then what do we got? We got, I love this skirt. Love this skirt. Love, 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 love this skirt. This is probably one of my favorite skirts. It's so good. So we have a spot to hang something on here, okay. Here is a bunch of things I felt indifferent on since my last closet clean out and I think I've accepted that they're going today. I have this purple sweater. I don't dislike her. 
but I did order, like I got rid of weirdly a lot of my purple sweaters. A lot of them do not spark joy wearing them as much as I do looking at them. And this one, I do not dislike, but I do not like it enough to keep it and I never really wear it. So this is going in the to sell pile. As much as this is inside out. Um, I have this top in like every color. I don't like this one shade of brown because I'm not gonna lie, I don't like it on me. Like, I wear this one when I have nothing else left to wear, so I think that's a sign that it's not staying. This blue cardigan sweater that I showed recently in a video, I know that's controversial, like Gabby just returned it. Um, I don't like it on me. Like, it's just too, it makes me look really boxy and I don't like it. So this is going into the resale pile. I feel like I should keep this dress. I know I just showed it in a video. I feel like I should give it another try. We'll give it another try. The item I cannot give another try is this cardigan because I cannot figure out for the life of me how to style her. And I have other cardigans that I just like more. I have other pink sweaters that I just like more. So this is going into the sell pile. I had no way to show it, but I took all my dresses out of my closet and put them all in the back row of my closet because I don't gravitate towards dresses in the winter as much. Um, like I have some that I will wear and if I want to wear them, I will go get them. But I think they were getting really like cluttered in my like main row of like sweaters and it was making it impossible to get through my closet. So I did that. And then I think we're gonna move on to sweaters. Granted, I think most of what I wanna get rid of, I've gotten rid of. So like, maybe in the morning, we'll get back to it. Okay, the next thing we are decluttering is my makeup. So I'm gonna start um, exposing my makeup shopping addiction. Um, if you got into makeup in like early YouTube, you know you have a makeup shopping addiction. I know I do. So let's fix that. Okay, here are like my daily products that I've been using the most recently. So I'm going to quickly go through them because most of this I'm going to keep, but some of this I need to get rid of. First thing, I don't know, um, do people like the Voluminous Mascara because I swear... Focus camera, focus, focus camera. Can we focus? Focus camera, focus. Focus? Or not focus, that's fine. I swear everyone talks about liking this mascara. I do not like it, it is going in the trash pile. Um, the other things that I desperately need to throw out are, um, honestly, it's not even empty yet, but I've had this powder forever and probably should go get a new one. So this is also going to go in the, the trash pile. Everything else I think I can keep or like it's almost empty anyway, so I'm just going to keep it. But yeah, this is like what I use on a daily basis is what I keep in this little thing on my desk. This is my big makeup bag. Um, my friend got it for me as a gift and I have way too much makeup in it. Granted, so now that I threw out the mascara I don't like, I got this mascara to try and I'm gonna open that up and put that with my daily makeup because my friend recommended it. And I think this is like, oh, if I remember correctly, this is the mascara and this is like the mascara remover, if I remember correctly. So we'll see how that goes. I have so many fake lashes. These are all staying. This is necessary. Um, I have had this palette for forever. It's definitely, definitely. I know I used it in a video recently and I should not be using old makeup, but I probably should throw this out. Um, I have this highlighter, we're keeping it. A lot of this is like new stuff that I'm trying out, like new glitter pigments that I'm excited about. Um, more lashes. More lashes. So many lashes. 
stop me if I ever try to buy more lashes. I don't need any more. Um, what else is in here? Honestly, it's a lot of lipstick, which I don't know why. I don't wear lipstick that often. I usually go for like lip tints. So I don't know what to do with it all. Like, I don't. But this I know is old as hell. Honestly, so much of this is so old that I really like y'all. This is ancient. You can tell what I used. Like, I definitely should just. Actually, I did order a new, um, like, cool tone neutrals palette from the brand. I think it's. I can't remember if I ordered the Clio neutrals palette or the Romand neutrals palette. I think I ordered the Romand one. So I've been holding on to this to see if it swatches similarly to the other palette I'm getting, but I'm gonna put this in the trash pile for now. Um, I'm keeping this for sentimental reasons. Um, I know it is old, I don't use it. I literally just keep it for sentimental reasons. Don't ask me why. Ooh, this is essential. If you are a cosplayer, I cannot recommend this palette enough because it has every color you could possibly need. I'm gonna put this more accessible with my other makeup. Yeah, I, I need to use this more. I need to have more fun. Uh, what else is in here? Ooh. This palette y'all have seen me use a ton. Granted, you can tell what colors I use and what colors I probably never touched, but um, this is staying. It's like my favorite pink palette. It's so many lipsticks. Okay, a lot of it also is like travel size mascaras for like when I have to go to cons and I don't want to take a huge mascara. So maybe I should put travel makeup in like its own bag. That's probably a good idea. Travel pile. Ooh, and then I also have like some things in here are like, oh, I liked it so much that I bought a second one, like this glitter I really like um, that I can put in there. Blush. Um, let's see. I do have a color that's really similar to this, and this is just a sample that I barely use, but I mean, it's also travel size, so I might put it in the travel size pile. This is like the pinkest idly idol blush in the entire world. I literally use it so sparingly. That's staying. This blush I literally cannot open because I broke it, but I've been holding on to it to try to find something similar. It's the Sleek Rose Gold Blush. Come on, camera, focus. Focus, camera, focus. I'm trying to do what the beauty YouTubers do. The YouTubers. Yeah. I'll like insert a picture even too of what this color looks like. It's like the perfect blush. I broke it, they don't sell it anymore, and I'm keeping it. Okay, my camera cut me off, so I don't know what was last said, but yes, I'm holding on to this blush until I can find a dupe of it. Uh, all right. Truly, and like, genuine question. Does chapstick expire? Because I've had these, prob I probably should just throw these out. I really should. Okay, we're gonna put them in the throw out pile. I have more sample lipsticks i have these little teeny tiny tints that i have held on to they're probably almost all empty i should just what is th this is a glitter that i have never used so we'll keep it. Um, oh, this is a funny story. I have my only MAC lipstick that I own. I got on free lipstick day. Wait, no, this isn't it. No. This was a PR gift from one of my cousins who used to work in makeup. Um, this I have not touched. This is staying. This is my free lipstick from MAC Free Lipstick Day. And I have barely used it. And there is some sort of cute little potential problem with it. But it's so pretty. 
It's literally the only matte lipstick I own. I don't know what to do with it. I probably have never used it. Like, maybe, like, once to, like, try it on. But, like, I don't use it. Uh, ooh, travel size product. Uh, here's what's crazy. So, a lot of these things I have truly just, like, either forgotten I still have. Like, or it's, like, stuff where I'm, like, I'm holding on to it to find a color similar. Like, they don't make this anymore. This is my favorite pink lip tint. They don't make it, and I'm keeping it until I can find a dupe of it. Same thing with, like, these, like, viral, like, flower lipsticks. I should just throw this out. It is almost gone. I should just, yeah, we're tossing this. I've had this for forever. I love it dearly. I'm going to try to find another one. But actually, I might try searching this brand that's on it and see if I can find that somewhere. Um, ooh, this I'm keeping. I love those tints. This lipstick, I truly should throw it. I bought it because I remember someone in beauty YouTube liking this color. And it just does not suit me. I don't wear orangey lips that often. It doesn't look good on me. So I don't know why I've kept this. Um, uh, ooh, this is like... One of my favorites for keeping this. Um, no, if I could remember correctly, which one is which? The red one is the one I like, if I remember correctly. I have to double check. You know, I think the red one is the one I like. I don't remember using this one much, so I think I'm keeping the red, and I think I'm going to toss this one. Because I was trying to find a dupe for that. Like, this is like one of my favorite lipsticks. I don't even know. Does Rimmel still exist? And I mean that in the nicest way. I don't feel like I've seen Rimmel makeup being sold anywhere. I love this lipstick so much. But I also don't really wear like bright red lipstick anymore. I had like a phase, a red lipstick phase, and I've not touched it since. So I think I'm going to throw this out finally. This is another like PR gift from my cousin when she was in makeup. I have not used this once. This I think should be fine. These were my favorite and Etude House discontinued them or these were like limited edition colors. I love these. I hold on to them until I can find a dupe. Um, and then I just have more PR makeup from my cousin. And where is my other one of these? I know I have a second one. I don't know where it is, but that's that. I'm going to also see in here I have this I've been excited to try. This I'm going to put with my daily makeup because I've been excited to experiment. I've heard like good things about this product. Sorry, I'm like turning it the wrong way completely. This I'm keeping. These are... Oh yeah, and these are eyebrow and liners that are all new. I haven't opened them yet besides like swatching them. So these are all staying in my little makeup bag here. But yeah, these are all just like products. Oh God, we're throwing out so much. I'm so proud of me. We're doing such a good job. But yeah, no, please. If I tell you I need more lashes, no, I don't. And then... I feel like I should take the new products out that I really want to try using and keep them out somewhere. Like, I'm really excited about these. They're so, so, so pretty. So maybe I'll put the new things that I haven't tried yet out so I can use them. Because if I just keep them in the makeup bag, then I'm never going to know they're there. So let's start. This is so good. I'm, I'm, I'm really bad at throwing away makeup because, um... Growing up watching beauty YouTube and seeing how much makeup everyone owned made me want to have that much makeup, which I know is ridiculous and horrible. But because of that, I put so much sentimental value in makeup that I have such a hard time getting rid of it. I'm going to also put this with my eyeshadow palettes so I actually can use it. So this, I think, is basically done. Now, the big thing I am not doing, and I know this is bad, is I am not getting rid of my really, really old eyeshadow palettes. Like, I'm not even going to show you them here. I usually try not to use them in videos, and I just wear them when I'm doing, like, my own makeup and not for a video. 
because I know someone's going to be like, Gabby, that's so old. Why do you still have it? I know it's bad. I have, like I just said, too much sentimental attachment to some makeup. But these are some other things that I fully forgot were in my, I have like a little like three tiered cart that I keep like beauty products in and like other things that just don't fit on my desk because I don't have a good makeup storage system. But I'm going to grab them. I'm going to put this powder with my daily makeup because I now need a powder. And then I have a bunch of stuff that I'm like, this is, okay, wait, I just threw out my last brow mascara. I probably should throw this one out also because I know I've had it way too long. Um, lashes are going to go in the makeup bag. A lot of these are just lip products I really like and like I try to like switch them up now and then. So I think everything here is fine. Here is the throwaway pile and the beginning of 2023. Hopefully I end up throwing out more or I just stop buying makeup I don't need. That's all I need to learn from this is to stop buying makeup I really don't need. I hope watching me go through my clothing and makeup inspires you to go through your own things and getting rid of things that no longer make you happy, no longer are usable, no longer spark joy. Do not keep things in your wardrobe for like the thought of, oh well, one day, no. If you're not gonna wear it, don't keep it. If it's too old, don't keep it. Just donate it, someone else will use it in the now. And I think it's better to donate something or resell something that someone can use now rather than you holding on to it for a what if in the future. You know what I mean? It's a little weird. I realize that now. And yeah, thank you all so much for watching this week's video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. And if you are new here, yes you, make sure you hit the subscribe button. It's right there. Woo! And in the comments, let me know what your resolutions are for 2023. My main ones are to read books more. I have not like actually sat and read a book in a very long time. So reading is something I really wanna do. I want to travel somewhere in 2023. It's getting weird, like pronounce, like getting used to a new year always takes me too long to figure out how to say. Reading something, traveling somewhere, and just like taking new classes and trying new things. That's always one I try to keep on my New Year's resolutions is to always want to try new things and not put things off just because I don't feel like I'm ready yet for trying something new. You know what I mean? Follow me over on Instagram and Twitter to see cosplay content, random thoughts and opinions, and also I often will post when I'm reselling clothes over on there. So if you are interested potentially in anything I showed that I was getting rid of, please check me out over on Instagram because I will post those clothing items over there. And yeah, thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!